Hi, I'm Caroline Dowd Higgins. Thanks for tuning in to my new series, Thrive, which is all about empowering women to enjoy their careers so they can love their lives. I have great wisdom and resources and action steps from some incredible women that I'm interviewing. Today, join me on meeting Mackenzie Goodrich, owner of Shine Insurance. Come on in. Mackenzie, welcome. I'm so glad you're with me today. You are the owner of Shine Insurance Agency. So Mackenzie, what I love about you is that you're a strategist. I love how your brain works and you help your clients shine. It's the name of your business. Yeah. Tell me more about that. Um, well, we help our clients with insurance. We help them with policies. We help them with transferring risk, figuring out how to manage all of that. But we also help our clients with connections, with preparation for bidding projects or making proposals. We help our clients with a lot more than just insurance because we're business owners as well and we want to help you shine when you go into those opportunities to help your business grow. So let's talk about being women, right? I know that you are very passionate about helping women as am yes. I. Why do women in particular need to know more about insurance? You know, I feel like women spend a lot of time worrying. Mm -hmm. I know I do. Um, I, I do too. <laughs> I do too. Yeah, and it seems like it's something that my friends and I talk about a lot. I love that insurance helps erase the worry mm -hmm. to some degree. It allows people to have peace of mind and security and be able to go to bed at night knowing that if tragedy strikes, they will be able to deal with the tragedy and not the financial burden from the tragedy. Wow, so you're really easing their mind so yes. they can get on with living their lives. Yes. You're such a great listener and, and you're an expert. Why is it that women don't always say, hey, I need help with this, right? We look, we do the research, we yeah. figure it out, and we buy it online. Yeah. You have a different philosophy, right? About I do. how we should seek out our insurance. I do, I do. I think there are a lot of things that are great to buy online. I buy shoes online. I, you know, <laughs> There are different things that make sense to buy online. I think insurance is not one of those things. In my opinion, Doing it yourself online may get you the price that you want, but it isn't necessarily going to get you the outcome that you want when tragedy hits. So I think do it yourself with your kitchen cabinets or your flooring, but don't do it yourself with insurance. Seek out an expert. Find someone who you can build a relationship with, who you like, who you trust. The person who is going to answer the phone when your building is burning should be someone who you like and trust. Well put. Well put. And you're yeah. one of those experts. Absolutely. Excellent. So I'd love to hear a story. We were talking earlier about yeah. how sometimes insurance can really, really save a person. You were telling yeah. me about a client who is recently divorced, right? And mm -hmm. all of a sudden had to figure this out on her own. Yeah. Tell me about that. Yeah. She came in and she was really sweet and she just kind of looked a little bit like this was a big deal yeah. and I could tell I didn't know her but she you know just walked in and so I said oh hi how are you and we started talking and she told me well, I'm recently divorced and I said congratulations and her face just melted oh. and she was like yeah <laughs> it is congratulations thank you for saying that the and beginning. you know it was yeah. like yeah of course and she hadn't dealt with anything with insurance wow. she hadn't dealt with anything with finances in the household and her husband was the sole earner and mm -hmm. he took care of it all and so she really didn't want to work with his agent mm -hmm. but she really didn't know what she needed either and we were able to help her you know sit down with her help her work all through the details from home insurance to car insurance to life insurance wow. taking care of her teenage kids car insurance and what's that going to look like when the third one starts driving so uh, you know having an expert to be able to sit down and help you mm -hmm. and someone who you can really trust and talk about the secret things that really worry you and keep you up at night just makes all the difference. So you were a lifesaver to this woman, right? Yeah, because yeah. she was at a place of, of absolute panic. Yeah. Way to go. Way to oh, go. Thanks, you thanks. Alleviated that worry. Thanks. So let's talk about being assertive and being aggressive. You know, as women and as confident women as you and I are, quite often people accuse us of going to that aggressive space. Sure. And I think that's bunk, frankly, yeah. right? I think it's important for us to be assertive. So how do you figure that one out? For me, I think the root of it is my response to a situation or my proactive choice in a situation is not going to be rooted in taking something personally. I am not going to take something personally and then react to it because that's when I'm going to be a bitch. Yeah, and, you can say it. Yeah, <laughs> and, um, and that's not how I want to be. And it doesn't feel good in the moment of doing yeah. it, and it certainly doesn't feel good after. I don't want to have that remorse and that hangover. I don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. Right. And, I, you know, so what I really try to do is think, okay, this is not personal. This is not about me personally. 
my reaction to this is about me personally, so I'm going to choose the reaction that feels good to me that I can be proud about later. Excellent lesson. Really Thanks. good. We have to kind of deflect the personal and the professional. Well done. Well Thanks. done. Okay, last question. What's yeah. your guilty pleasure? What do you do just for you? Oh, uh, I would say... What I do just for me is I, I do do something for myself every day. If it's taking a bath or if it's mm -hmm. doing yoga, that's for me every day. And then guilty pleasure is when I'm at home alone and my son is gone and my husband's gone. I get all the animals on me on the couch or in the chair and everybody just piles on me. And then I watch whatever kind of junky TV I feel like. Fabulous. <laughs> Animal nest. I yeah, love it. Yeah. Sorry about that's the paper. Great. I love it. Mackenzie, thanks. Thank really you. Really good to chat with you. Thanks.